I will skip the part where I brag for three minutes about how great and cool I am. Seeing as we are all qualified young men of skill and character. Boy State is a compelling story because you witness 17 year old boys going into this environment where they have to jump into this huge group of, of kids talking about politics and talking about um, what's happening in this moment in politics. And to see 17 year olds debating gun control and debating abortion rights and issues that are happening right now in this country at the same time. My grandmother told me a few things. You have to have faith, hope, and a bit of a pissed off attitude. A messy bunch of, you know, 12 under 17 year olds and they're all white from attention and they all have incredibly loud and, and unfocused views. But through the whole discussions, you, you get to see the, you know, they want to get that attention. They say things that often they don't believe in. But they, at some point, as the progress gets on and the characters get closer to either being governor or not governor, getting into the higher positions and, and, and losing and winning, they sort of start reflecting on, on what's important to them. And that's kind of beautiful to see in the film, and also filming these characters to see how they sort of gained maturity and, and, and understood how the political process changed them. In the case of Boy State, our goal was to make this look intimate, to be able to create a visual language that, that so the viewer could experience, or the camera experiences, our subject's experience through them, to be very close to them, to be cinematic with that. For good variety of filmmaking, we don't rely on a very stylized set of imagery with yeah. interviews, which a lot of documentaries are, and that's a whole different thing, and there's some amazing Sure. Ones. And you need a lot of shooting time. You actually need a lot of, spend a lot of time with the subjects matter. You can't have this fake variety thing where you come in and you tell them people, can you walk from here and we follow you with a movie. But I think for this kind of filmmaking, it's a, it's a different kind of um, beauty that, that you can find with the imagery. And it's, it's less premeditated. We shot about 80% of the film in seven days. And we had seven shooters, seven cameras, seven C300 Mark IIs. So each of the shooters had two lenses. And it was a lot of planning that went into it. But when it actually happened, it wasn't a logistical nightmare. It was actually just a really well choreographed. It was beautiful. We assigned every cinematographer to one character. And to me, that, that is the beauty of this film, that, that there is a lot of real emotions. You, you almost feel like you're in it. You you experience those emotions with them and through them because you're so close to them. The C300 Mark II and, and, and a lot of the Canon products are, um, uh, first of all, a very simple one is the, the power, it's like batteries. We were able to have two batteries in our pouch and could function an entire day while we still had an, an amazing look, a beautiful camera that has an, an amazing latitude and then Little features like the ND filters, the built-in ND filters, so you, you could you were able to across all seven cameras and all seven shooters to stay at consistently at an F2 for the whole film, for the entire film. Nobody ever changed the F stuff, and we could fine-tune exposure with the, the built-in ND filters, and then even more fine-tuning it with the ISO. So you, we could be incredibly fast. And that is so important because it makes it look like, it gives it a cinematic quality that's, right. that's more like a fiction filmmaking. To have a consistency of f-stop in documentary is actually really hard to do. It you is. need the built-in filters and you need to have those, the, the, the idea to set it up beforehand. And with this camera and with the small lens that we chose, it could actually be this close to people, but you wouldn't feel that intrusive. It's probably the, the best camera for, for that small footprint that gives you a look that can be cinematic. We needed to capture every moment, we needed to anticipate the moments, and those moments happened once. And we couldn't redo anything. We never once asked anybody to redo anything. So we had to have seven cameras that were 100% reliable, and they were.